the film. Um, what was the greatest challenge for you? I think um, as a cinematographer, when you envision or have an idea in mind, but then to actually execute it, what is that main thing that sort of drives you through uh, that entire process? Um, thank you. Uh, you know, I think it, it was it was really just trying to figure out what the movie was and what um, we wanted it to be and how much homage to use and how much uh, we wanted to reference classic cinema and how much of our own look we wanted to bring to the movie. Um, and, you know, that, that was the bulk of our conversations leading up to the film was really really just how dogmatic we wanted to be with classic cinema um, and uh, trying to pay as much respect to the, the, the movie we were discussing as we could uh, while still making our own film. How, how much of this uh, movie, I mean, is, uh, um, how does it feel like to be in, in the present grade? Uh, it's incredibly humbling. I, uh, I don't know how to describe it really. You know, um, uh, Citizen Kane is one of the movies that made me want to make movies. Um, and uh, Greg Toland is a cinematographer who is someone uh, who taught the movie business how to take risks to some degree, I think, and made it acceptable to take creative risks and push the medium forward. And um, so, uh, you know, he has been incredibly inspiring to me as a, as a cinematographer and... Um, and to and to have the opportunity to make a movie that just references just a little bit of what he did um, is uh, has has been a, a really special thing for me. Um, and and it, it was it was wonderful to um, look at that film um, and then and, and but but through a, a, a bit of a modern lens and and uh, and bring something of our own to it.